where there is no hatred of heresy. There is no holiness. Burn that into your brain. And burn into your brain what St. Francis de Sales said, that it is an act of charity to cry out, Here is the wolf. It's not prideful. It's not uncharitable to recognize reality, to simply recognize that actual popes must be actually Catholic, and that as a manifest, rabid, anti-Catholic, Francis cannot possibly be a pope. It's not uncharitable to recognize that reality. It's not prideful to recognize that reality, and it's not humble to refuse to recognize that reality. It's rather insane. One who wages war against reality is an insane person. Not a sane person, not a charitable person, not a humble person. An insane person. So don't be seduced by these voices of the recognize and resist faction who tell you that, oh, we have to be humble, we have to be charitable, we can't say that Francis isn't a pope. No, he's manifestly, more manifestly than any supposed pope in the history of the world. Just think about that. With modern communications, the words, the teachings, the acts of Francis are more public than any papal claimant in the history of the world. His rapid anti-Catholicism is manifest. It's knowable. It's out there for all to see, spitting in our faces daily. So if you refuse to recognize, if you refuse to truly recognize the reality of the situation, if you insist on keeping your head buried in the sand, then don't think, don't deceive yourself even further by thinking this is a mark of great humility and charity on your part. No, it isn't. It's a mark of insanity. And the time has come for you to pull your head out and to get real, really real. No matter how uncomfortable, truth is to be chosen over comfort. It's effeminate, it's anti-philosophical, it's anti-Christian to choose comfort over truth. It's time for you to man up.